In this video, we're gonna go over the products that I would sell if I was starting a laser business in 2024. To make these products, we're gonna be using the Creality Falcon 2 40 watt laser. Let's do it. First up is wallets. I know, not what you thought I was gonna say in this video, right? Lasers and leather are made for each other. Leather is not cheap, and I actually went to the saddle shop to buy a few offcuts of leather in different weights and colors. Being overconfident, I went for my best pieces of leather first, and it ended pretty much how you'd expect. The challenge with lasers is that they cut and engrave differently from each other, and not all material cuts the same. Being that the 40 watt model is new to me, I should have done a test cut first. As you can see, these first couple didn't cut all the way through. I tried to finish it off with an X-Acto knife, but the finish just wasn't the same. Stick around to the end when I show you some really great products for parents to entertain their kids on school holidays. Now to stitch these together. My tip is batch out 50 wallets and get someone very competent at sewing to do it for you. I have made a few of these in the past, but each time I have, I've got someone else to do the sewing for me. In this case, this will be the first time I'm sewing up one of my own wallets. Another good idea is to sell them as a kit, as in flat packed. Without stitching them, I would include the parts, some thread and a needle, and a link to a YouTube video with instructions on how to put it together. I hope you can see why I've decided to lead with the wallets in this video. These are beautiful custom engraved wallets that are cheap to make, but command a high profit. This 40 watt Creality Falcon 2 was kindly sent over to me by Creality, but I have not been paid to say any nice things about the product. This video is to show you the products that I would make if I was starting a laser business in 2024. I just wanna take a moment to say thank you so much for the new subscribers that have joined me uh, recently. It is much appreciated. It's very affirming of what, what I'm doing right here. Thank you. Let's get on with the video. The next product on the list is this incredible laser engraved mirror. Let me show you how I did it.
I will absolutely put a really simple frame around it, but I think this is going to be a really good seller. Safety is a big factor when it comes to lasers. That's why you'll see me wear my protective glasses and a mask. I'll also have the industrial fan in my workshop on and my garage door open. My recommendation is that you buy one of these fume extraction tents when you buy your laser. This one is from Creality and it works great. The reason why you won't see me use it in this video is it makes filming quite difficult. Having said that, once filming is finished, the cover goes back on and the fumes are extracted out of the garage via the built-in extraction fan. This product is already in high demand due to the fact that not many people do laser engraving of tumblers and yetis and those sort of things. To engrave the tumblers, I was using Creality's Rotary Chuck Pro. I highly recommend this unit if you're going to be doing any tumbler engraving. At first I wasn't getting great results, the engraving was dull and not something anyone would want to pay for. After doing a material test, the correct settings were revealed. It is important to note that the Creality Falcon 40 watt laser actually has a precise mode which turns it into a 22 watt laser. In precise mode, my settings were 2500 millimeters a minute at 10% power and it's worked every time. Give you an idea of how popular and how in demand this pot product is. I posted this reel to Instagram and I had 15 messages from people wanting their Yetis engraved. The tip here is let your customers know it will take some time and bunch them up so you can set up the rotary engraver and batch them out with the same settings all dialed in. If you want to buy this particular laser unit, there will be a link down in the description where you can uh, make your purchase. It is an affiliate link. It, I'll get a small kickback if you do decide to go through with a purchase. It's a great way to support the channel. It is important to note that I have used the 22 watt and the 40 watt models of the Falcon 2 laser from Creality. Everything that I'm doing in this video can be done with either model. Next up, tumblers. This product is more for small businesses, law officers, accountants, real estate agents who want to reward their loyal customers with something personalized and reminding them of thanking of their business.
Serving boards is another great way to go with the laser business. Think barbecue and outdoor retailers. Your high quality custom engraved serving board will go great with a brand new purchase of a barbecue or outdoor setting. It's perfect for the entertainer. My recommendation is that you go to the barbecue retailer, show them the high quality products you make and see if they're willing to buy some stock off you. You go that step further and build the cost of the laser engraving into the board. When the board is sold, it comes with a coupon that entitles the buyer to a free laser engraving. Can't get much more personalized than that. I've got this final serving board. I was going to put something like the Taylor family, but then something was stopping me. In the comments, I'd really appreciate your suggestion. If you had the laser engraver in this board, how would you engrave it? The next one is low cost, high profit items. Things like coasters, keychains, uh, engraving steak knives, and even bookmark. Rather than show you um, those products, because I'm sure you've seen a million of them, here's my version of one of the low cost, high profit items, and that is a wine caddy. So the wine glass goes in there, and you've got your cheese and crackers, all that sort of stuff. I bought this from a shop and then I engraved it myself. I used a couple of dowel rods as locator pins and then quickly batched out a bunch of these. Here are some other examples of what I'm talking about. What is important is offering value to the customer and if you can, offer them more than they're expecting. This could be a free laser engraving on a $150 end grain cutting board, or it could be a complimentary tin of board butter with the purchase of a cutting board or something like that. Market stall displays. One often overlooked key demographic of customers is other makers. There are plenty of makers who are in my area who make amazing things and they come to people with laser engravers to put the finishing touches on their product. Of course, they just pass on your costs to the final customer. We have seen how lasers help us make really quick profit really easily. But what about the big money? Well, that's where Jesper makes come in. This is the artichoke lamp. Its unique shape makes it iconic and something that sells for thousands of dollars. The best part about this is it's extremely hard to ship, so your local customers are compelled to come to you. Please subscribe to my channel uh, and stay tuned for when I do finish the build, I'll post it to the social media. Just letting you know that this plan is by Jesper Makes. I'm gonna leave a link to his uh, website below where you can download uh, the plans for this. All right, finally, kids crafts, and in this case, a birdhouse. I think every parent uh, on the school holidays is looking for different things for their kids to do. In this case, a birdhouse that the kid has to assemble and then paint and then put outside somewhere is the perfect project. I really believe these will sell very well. Have a look at how easy the Falcon 2 is able to cut these parts out. I would be letting anyone who is a parent of a small child know that you're making these, they will sell well. When cutting out with a laser, it's important to use a honeycomb bed to improve cutting performance. This is another perfect project for the kids. DIY birdhouse, plenty of plans online. The Creality laser cut it out perfectly and all there was to do was paint and assemble. Well, there you go. 
Those are my products that I would sell if I started a laser business in 2024. I really hope it helped. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.